The storm system that dropped huge layers of snow on the Midwest Thursday is now hitting the upper Midwest. On Thursday, the storm left accumulations ranging up to one and a half feet in Kansas, Missouri, and Nebraska. Snow was piled so high, even police and first responders had a hard time getting around. So the officers themselves have to come out and we have to shovel snow. Uh, we have to get two or three additional officers out to push them out of the, the stall. So it just, it just takes us time. Hundreds of accidents and two deaths are now being blamed on icy, slushy roads. Long stretches of Interstate 70 were shut down in Kansas and Missouri. Workers are still trying to clear roads. Hopefully by tomorrow evening we'll have, a, uh, we'll have made really good ground on getting removed from the highways. The Kansas National Guard made searching for stranded motorists a top priority. We'll use the, uh, the National Guard with uh, Humvees to uh, get to those areas that uh, currently uh, local law enforcement and uh, uh, highway patrol uh, may have difficulty getting to. The snow was so thick in Wichita, Kansas, a plane got stuck on the runway shortly after landing. Kansas City's airport was completely shut down Thursday, while hundreds of flights were canceled throughout the region. The airport's been good. People have been good. They haven't been cranky or mean or anything. The snowstorm is welcome news for many Midwestern farmers. It's bringing them desperately needed moisture. A drought and extreme heat devastated corn and other crops last summer. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.